Hey, what's up, guys? This is Anvit here from Hacks and Geeks, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install Lineage OS on your OnePlus 2. downloads and any other video that I mentioned in this video will be under the description so don't forget to check that out so first let's begin by downloading the lineage OS OnePlus 2 when you click on the nightly build and if you get something like this a service unavailable error I actually have a video on that which uh, will help you fix this error and download the lineage OS and uh, once you click and download this nightly build then you have to download the gapps for that you have to go to the opengapps.org website from that you need to click on ARM64 and Android 7.1 version and you can select any of these uh, variant for the download. I usually select the mini version and hit on download. Once this gets download, open the place where these downloads are completed then copy these files onto your Android. If you have CM14.1, I actually have another video on that which will show you how to migrate from CM14.1 to Lineage OS without losing any data. If you have any other ROM other than CM14.1, watch this video because in this video I'll be showing you how to format and then install Lineage OS but by this method you'll be losing all your data. So it's recommended that you take in complete WRP backup or in titanium backup of this ROM and all the user files before you start anything. Then hold down your power button and switch off your Android. Once switched off, then again hold the power button simultaneously with the volume down button to boot into the TWRP. Once there, click on the wipe option and select every other option there other than the internal storage. Then you can swipe to wipe those partitions. Once done, go back to the home screen of the TWRP. Then click on the install option and navigate to the folder where you have copied the Lineage OS and the OpenGApps files. Now select the Lineage OS zip file and then click on add more zip files. Then select the OpenGApps for 7.1 nugget zip file and then you can swipe to flash these two files and this process may take somewhere around 5 to 15 minutes just bear with that and then once done you'll get an option to reboot to your android system once rebooted you'll be granted with instead of screen select your language connect your wi-fi or Turn on your mobile data and then you can set up your Google account. But if you face any problem while setting up your Google account, just turn off your Wi Fi and also your mobile data, and then you can proceed with setting up your Android. And then you can add your fingerprint and click on any other additional settings that you'll need. You can even turn on the on screen navigation bus, which I'm not going to do right now. And finally, you can select the launcher. That's it, you have completely installed your lineage OS. If you weren't able to set up your Google account while the installation process now you can easily set up your Google account by opening your Play Store. Now I'm going to the uh, about phone option in the settings below. Once there uh, you can see the build number and also the lineage OS version that you have installed on your device. Tapping on the build number seven times and going to the developer options and there going on to the root options you can only find adb only so this means you can only use root permissions while connected on the end computer with a terminal or ncmd but lineage os actually have said that they'll be releasing a zip file from which you can actually root the lineage os which will be releasing shortly and i'll be making a video on that if you don't want to miss that hit that subscribe button and also that notification icon I've been using this ROM for a few hours now before editing this video and I would say this was completely stable at least at my use on this device. And if you are using CM40.1 you can directly migrate without losing any data. Check out the link in the description and 
I'll have those links for the videos and all the files that I had mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like rating would be awesome. And if you want to see more videos from us, hit the subscribe button. Thank you once again guys. Goodbye.